Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Main Event. We are live from Greens Bay, Wisconsin, home of the Green Bay Packers. And we're kicking things off as Tommaso Ciampa has breaking news about him and Johnny Gargano. What a massive way to kick things off here on Main Event. As uh, he's here to break the news that was posted on Twitter earlier this evening. That him and Gargano are getting back together. And obviously, this crowd's been souring on Tommaso Chomp after what he did to Gargano on the, on the independent scene. We thought these two would never work together again, but it looks like it's a tag team reunion. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to break the news to you. Um, a video that happened on Twitter earlier today where me as me and Johnny Gargano will be getting back together, and that is factual truth. I know I turned my back here on the WWE Universe to say it tonight, and, and I'm here to say it that it's been bothering me. You see, you know sometimes how you hear old, some old music and realize that you miss hearing the lyrics? All these years you thought you were saying the one thing, but it's not actually something completely different. Why well, I had that kind of moment here in the WWE, I thought it was one way, but it's another, isn't it? That's right, I had that moment with me and my tag team partner, Johnny Gargano. And you see, I realized over these past three months I've been here in WWE, I can't do it alone. I can't take shortcuts. I can't be a successful on my own. I need my best friend, Johnny Gargano, by my side. And I'm here to say, Johnny, I'm sorry. You see, see, you see, I'm going to show you that actions speak louder than words, and it starts tonight when me and Gargano team up to take on the former Cruiserweight Champion Roderick Strong and the more contender Kalisto. We will defeat them and to show that DIY is back. You see, me and Johnny will make tag team wrestling great again. We will be a force here in the WWE. I notice I realize I can't do it alone. I need the WWE Universe and I need Johnny Gargano by my side. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Ciampa Gargano back together again. Massive news. I could never, I could not believe it. A tag team reunion. Here on main event, it is in our main event of the evening. Good lord, ladies and gentlemen, that made my night, but folks, we got to kick things off in a big way here on main event. Here, let's kick, kick, kick things off. Rusev Day. Rusev will be taking on Curtis Axel, and this is come breaking news coming out of Raw General Manager Des The Rock. That it will be Rusev versus Neville in a number one contenders match for the European Championship on Monday Night Raw after both of them attacked um, Drew McIntyre this past Monday Night on Monday Night Raw. Stone, uh, uh, General Manager The Rock made that match official. It happens on Monday Night Raw. As Rusev is in action as she wants to build momentum towards that big match with Neville this Monday night. As uh, it's, it is good, it is Rusev Day every day and his manager, Alana, is in the ring to introduce her husband. And now, America, I ask you to stand up and put your hand on your heart and welcome the one and only true American hero. He is my husband, which means he is the only man that can have me. Welcome the Bulgarian brute, Rusev! As she introduces her husband, Mr. Rusev Day! He is coming here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as Rusev and made a statement this past Monday saying that he is going after the European Championship and he'll stop at nothing to get it as he attacked the European Champion. Drew McIntyre has confirmed it's going to be Rusev versus Neville. The returning Neville who we haven't seen in over three months on Monday Night Raw. Or two and a half months technically we haven't seen the Monday Night Raw. 
He made he made his return this past Monday night. Uh, as both of them attacked Drew McIntyre, simply that they want the European title. Only one man can get it on the Extreme Rules pre-show. We'll see who that man is. It's Monday night on Monday Night Raw. Huge Raw, huge smacks down this week. Don't miss both of them. But huge main event in store for you guys tonight as well. Before Rusev could get to Monday Night Raw, he got to take on Mr. Curtis. And his opponent, accompanied by Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel. Uh, Curtis Axel has been on a bit of a losing streak. Uh, and a li little bit over the past couple of weeks, he lost both him and his partner, Curtis, both Dallas lost to. Apollo Crews respectively over the past two weeks Axel lost on main event last week to Crews and Crews beat Bo Dallas this past Tuesday night on Smackdown Live but Axel said all that can change he proved that he can still go in the ring and he proved that he's a formidable force on Smackdown Live and he also wants that intercontinental championship everybody's gunning for our champion Bobby Roode only only a few men can't get to him. But Axel can prove that he still belongs. It takes on the Bulgarian Brutes tonight. One main event to kick things off here in action. Huge night. Charlotte makes her return to the debut of the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. Six on the returning Alistair Black. As it goes Axel! Good lord! Well, Axel, you want to make a statement? Make one like that. Good lord. Slam me down. Bruce said to kick things off in his. And it's matchup here. Now Axel, oh, oh that's a vintage gold dust move. Another neck breaker. Oh, now a shot that I do hard directly here. As I can't even get a couple words about what's coming up tonight. As I would say, Jinder Mahal will take on, oh, Alistair Black, who is back for the first time since Backlash. Since he became number one seeder for the WWE title for SummerSlam. He, uh, Black takes on Mahal. Can't wait for that one, man. It's going to be awesome. As that Curtis Axel off the, off, the, off the top of mid rope there, taking down Rusev. Now, Rusev oh, is finally trying to get back in this match as Curtis Axel surprised the heck out of everybody here tonight with his, with his confidence. He, he is going in there and taking it to the Bulgarian Brutes. That's what I love, man. This is, this is, if you want that Intercontinental Championship, you got to play spot on. Just like Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode, he, he, he be glorious in that ring. Curtis Axel has to be glorious times two to defeat the glorious one. Then at the glorious one, he takes on the perfect 10 tie. Dillinger Extreme Rules, the winner, will fight Sami Zayn at Money in the Bank. The Intercontinental Championship. The IC title is a little bit populated right now, so maybe a uh, battleground could be a spot for the, oh, Curtis Axel or Apollo Crews to get their shot at the Intercontinental Championship as a cover here or an Axel. On Ru I'm sorry, Rusev and Rusev with a kick out at one. Now, wait a minute on Lana now. Lana, that's the reason why Lana's not here to coach Rusev to a victory. And Rusev takes advantage of the, uh, of the distraction. Axel can't let those distractions get to him because Rusev is a formidable opponent inside that ring. Look at the power from Rusev. Rusev trying to make a statement ahead of his big match. At, at Monday, Monday Night Raw, one of the biggest. That could, that could guarantee a pay-per-view spot on the Extreme Rules match card. Oh! Ooh. And a lot of the distracting referee once again. You know, like, wait a minute, what?
One, two, main event, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that brief commercial break. We have to take in the middle as Rusev used the chair to get it to get the to get the advantage on on Curtis Axel here. Uh, sorry for brief commercial break. Um, uh, as um, we have to go take a take a little sec, take a little break there, and in in the middle of action, a little bit of intermission there. Slam down from Rusev to Axel. Now Rusev has the advantage after all of that spinning heel kick. After all of the uh, after Lana's distraction. Uh, still coming in the Charlotte returns. Uh, Jenna Mahal makes his universe mode debut. Kurt Drew's away debut for Xavier Woods. A lot of stuff coming up here tonight on main events. It's gonna be all chaotic. It's gonna be a phenomenal and chaotic show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. As we said with those big shots. Look at the look at the shots on that hurt his axle. Come on, look at look, now look at this. Now Rusev get the shot to the knee. And then now another shot to the knee. Good lord. Soften enough for that accolade. Now Rusev has got Axel in trouble. Super kick to the back of the head. And you gotta think. And it was, it, it was all Lana. Lana had something to do with Curtis Axel losing this momentum because he was dominating Rusev before Lana's distraction. Now Rusev with the accolade. Accolade on Curtis Axel. As Rusev sends a statement to Neville. Good night. Rusev's your winner. Statement win by the Bulgarian Brood here as he just completely took over uh, right after the chair was introduced. Hit Curtis Axel with the chair. Other than that, Axel was dominating. But that was the turning point and the super kick. And then it was the accolade to put away Kurt D. Curtis Axel. Good lord, ladies and gentlemen. During the commercial break, I have gotten word that um, that the European Championship, United Kingdom Championship, and Cruiserweight Championship will be defended at WWE on the Extreme Rules pre-show. So yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the pre-show is returning for Extreme Rules, and those three titles will be defended on the Extreme Rules pre-show. You don't want, do not want to miss the Extreme Rules pre-show. It's going to be a massive one. That was what I was getting word from by Vince McMahon and, um... Vince, Vince, The Rock, and Stone Cold Steve Austin doing the break. That's what I got word in my ear for. Guys, come, but guys, coming up next, we have our women's action of the night. Uh, it's going to be Charlotte taking on Alicia Fox. This is the first time we've seen Charlotte since WWE Backlash when she lost to Bailey. We haven't seen the queen since Backlash. And, and I, mean, I believe... Uh, this this queen is a little bit angry because she is no longer your SmackDown Live women's champion. She lost it fair and square to Bailey. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way down to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Charlotte lost that WWE um, Smack Online Women's Championship fair and square to Bailey at WWE Backlash. The Queen said Bailey was the better woman on that night, and she she was she she, she takes her loss. She says she's going to rebound for WWE Extreme Rules to get the SmackDown Live Women's Title back. But it's going to be different for Extreme Rules. That is going to be a triple threat for the. SmackDown Live Women's Title at Extreme Rules, so it's going to be a lot harder for Charlotte to get the to get the title back. But she is undefeated in Triple Threat matches here in Season Five of Universe Mode. So Charlotte knows what she's doing in Triple Threat matches. So uh, maybe maybe it could be uh, uh, good luck for Charlotte at Extreme Rules. Meanwhile, for Bailey, Bailey is not good in, in Triple Threats. She she is in multi women matches. Bailey. Has only two wins here in season five. But tonight, Charlotte got to worry about the crazy Alicia Fox. And she makes her return back to action. I haven't seen Charlotte since 
extreme moves as he looks like she is not in a happy mood. As look at Charlotte kicking things off right Oh, beautiful right already with a neck breaker onto Alicia Fox and Sling Blade taking Alicia Fox down. Look the queen is not in a happy mood since the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Yeah, I you to tell. I mean, she did lose her championship. I mean, Charlotte said he, she was expressed disappointment being the shortest SmackDown line women's champion in Universe Mode history. That, 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 that's the honor that Charlotte has. She hurt the second shortest reign was Naomi at two months. Charlotte didn't even make it to two months. She made it to over a month. Not even, not even that. Maybe three weeks as the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And that's kind of embarrassing for the Queen who the Ric Flair had a history of holding titles for very long in the family. And it looked like Charlotte couldn't do it. So you gotta, you gotta see, you gotta express disappointment that Charlotte felt after WWE Backlash. I mean, I would be. I mean, come on. I would. I mean, my family had a history of winning titles, but history of being successful. I win my first title at WrestleMania on the grandest stage of them all, and I only hold it for three weeks. Come on, I'll, I'll be disappointed. And I go, like, what am I doing wrong? Oh, yeah. Charlotte said she found the right area. She found the right key to get that smack and win this title back. And Bailey has a little breaking. Bailey thinks she's gonna walk into extreme rules and walk out successful. Charlotte has another thing coming. Speaking of Bailey, Charlotte talks about her loss at Extreme Rules. I mean, I mean at WWE Backlash. I'm sorry. And this Tuesday night on SmackDown Live. Also with the leader reveal for Sandy and so much more on SmackDown. You guys know I'm gonna miss SmackDown Live this week. Oh, a lot more action will be coming place taking place as Charlotte just completely dominated Alicia Fox here. Charlotte, look at this, look at this, our target and that back of Alicia Fox could be setting things up for that figure eight here. Good Lord. Alicia Fox has no chance here against the Queen. The Queen coming in and just taking out Alicia Fox. Now Charlotte. Wait a minute, what's Charlotte, what's Charlotte thinking here? I don't know, Charlotte can, I, don't think, I thought she was taking moon top, but I guess she changed her mind. Big boots! Big boots directly to the face of Alicia Fox. And I look at this, Charlotte not even wasting her little time. Big boots to Alicia, and look at this. Charlotte wasting her little time. Looking in. The figure eight. Figure eight leg lock. Locked in on Alicia Fox, and Alicia Fox taps immediately. Charlotte very, very impressive in her return. Very, very impressive win for the Queen as she wastes little time with Alicia Fox. Awesome win by Charlotte here. It looks like we're going to see a show of respect between these two women as Charlotte is victorious here on main event. The Queen is back. As we have two number one contenders for the Spider Line Women's title, they get their shot at WWE. Um, one, uh, WWE Extreme Rules. But guys, coming up next, it is the debut of the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal, as he has been officially signed to WWE SmackDown Live. And this was Jinder Mahal's request. He wanted. The number one contender for the WWE Championship, Alistair Black, uh, tonight on main event. And he's getting them. Coming up next. Well, I kind of feel bad for Jinder Mahal making his debut against one of the most toughest opponents we have here in Universe Mode. And that is Alistair Black, the man that will fight for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. He will take on whoever the WWE Champion is. At the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Cannot wait for that one, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be chaotic. That's going to be combustible in a few months' time. This is the first time we've seen Alistair Black since the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match at WWE Backlash. And he's taking on a formidable challenger. The debut of the modern-day Maharaja. As he takes on Black Mass. 
following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way down to the ring. He is the number one contender for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Alistair Black. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if I were wherever the WWE Champion is going to be at SummerSlam, I will be worried about Black Mass. This guy has been very, very vicious in every match he has been in. And they look like nobody can stop him. But I, uh, I don't, I don't. But there, there could be a catch to Alistair Black. He could have a weakness that we have yet to to see exploded. Can the Maharaja take him? I doubt right now. You never know. He could, he could have a weakness. I doubt it though. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time since WWE 2K14. It is the return of the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal requested match. He wanted Aleister Black. This is what he wanted. He wanted Black in his universe mode return. I haven't seen him since the 3MB with. Jen with Drew McIntyre and Heath Slater back in WWE 2K14. Last time we seen Jinder. And he looks great. Welcome back, Jinder. And look at this, look at this. Mahal, Mahal, kick it things off, going out the black. He wanted Ellis the black and he's taking a fight to him. Here we go. Black and Mahal. Black man versus the modern day Maharaja. And look at this, the modern, look at this. I think, I think that's the only advantage you can get. You can attack Black before the match even gets started. That's smart. Nobody has done that. Smart move by Jinder. Oh! I guess Mahal trying to... He guess he found a way to beat Black, I guess. That's the Maharaja. Could you imagine if Jinder Mahal beats Alistair Black tonight? And with the lights of Randy Orton, Kurt Angle couldn't even touch this guy? As Mahal again with that reverse, with grabbing the arms of Black and slamming them down. That, 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 that Ushi, Ushi move right there. But Black, oh my god, but Black with the shots to Mahal. And Black is not going to give in that easily. Oh my goodness, Jinder has, Jinder has had his time. He, this match is officially underway, but Jinder had his time, but I don't know how long he can keep this up. Super Kid, you better stay on Alistair Black. If not, Alistair Black is going to... Gonna take advantage to get back in this match. Look at this. Mahal going for the move one time too many. And that could cost him. That could cost him here, ladies and gentlemen. As Jinder Mahal is taking the fight to Black on oh, knees. To the back as Black able to miss the Mahal roll on the ropes. Here. And we haven't seen Mahal has not been in the ring since uh, in, in, in over two and a half years here in Universe mode. We haven't seen Mahal since 2K14. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, Mahal has been seen here in years in Universe Mode. Now he's back. Oh, oh, man. He's taking on Alistair Black, which is not a good sign at all. But Mahal, he's, he's taking it. He's taking the shots to Black. Oh, big forearm by uh, forearm smash there by Jinder Mahal. And another one. Mahal is taking the fight to Alistair Black. Man, people can't believe it. Now Super Kid. Now a cover on Black and Black. Not even a one count. All of that, uh, all them shots that Jinder Mahal has got the black, not even the one count. Now sit out, reverse kill switch there, you can say, by Mahal. And Mahal go for that big move again. This time, cover on it. This time, cover on black and black. And the only one count, barely, because he look, he look in the leg quicker. Oh, he was right at that one count. I'm Mahal. He's Mahal black going to the outside of the ring. Black grabbing Mahal. Oh, using the ropes to his advantage. Black is just struggling because he haven't wrestled in over two weeks. That's why. Jinder is training for this moment for, for months. Black, Black should be the fresher man. He, he, he hasn't wrestled in over two weeks in Universe Mode, but still, he, he should be the fresher man. I lost the Black. My Black. I got caught by Mahal. Mahal! Mahal, he taking it. Get a WWE to the number one contender for the WWE title at SummerSlam. I, I can't I can't believe it. Jinder Mahal is actually taking it to Alistair Black. DDT right there to Black and 
Black look like he's formidable. Jaden Mahal has found the right recipe. Don't have a going on Black to get any any offense in. If he negate Black's offense, they're going to be hard for him. Oh! That's Mahal. Mahal went for a move there, and Black said he, he just countered it. And now that's the Black in the corner. And now Mahal look like he can't keep up. It seems like Mahal can't keep up. Black takes him down. Into the submission hold. Jinder Mahal is in trouble. But a rope break saves Mahal. And now the Black look like he's not finished with him. Mahal is in trouble. It's just the Alistair Black we know, oh no. Black sits in the corner. You know what's coming next. Black Mass, big shot to the back. Mahal's in trouble. Black Mass is coming. Oh, but Mahal, Mahal! Big shot, turns Black around. Could we see it or no? It looked like Mahal was going for his big shot, but Black with the kick to the face of gender. Uh-oh. Black shaking his head. It's now Black from the top round. Come on! Mahal could be finished. No! Mahal finds a way to survive. But for how long? Mahal, not for that long. Good night. One, two. Mahal's finished. Well, Mahal gave it a good fight, but in the end, Black Mass reigns supreme, and this is how close Mahal got, one, and in the kick out. That's how close Jinder Mahal got to beating Alistair Black, but in the end, it was not enough, and Black found the way, why, just why, after this, we a big shot to the face, man, the moon salts into one of my favorites, Black. Mass. Good night, gender, but you put up a good fight. But in the end, you couldn't re you couldn't. You couldn't take all a black mass. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Alistair Black is victorious. Who can stop him? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a massive announcement regarding next week on Main Event. Next week on Main Event, Apollo Crews continue his redemption, redemption as he looks to go for the Intercontinental Championship in the near future and become number one contender as he is holding a yet another open challenge here on Main Event. Crews' open challenge returns next week. Can't wait for it. That's what ladies been next week. Uh, the Alliance will be in the building on SmackDown Live. Will they be in action? We'll find out next week as well. And speaking of the Alliance, Kevin Owens has his first singles match. Oh! Since making his return right here, right now on Main Event. And here comes the Alliance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way down to the ring, representing the Alliance, accompanied by Sami Zayn from Toronto, from from Montreal, Canada. Kevin Owens. And speaking of these boys, the Alliance man, they made their debut together on here this past Tuesday night on SmackDown Live. And it looked like it's so far so good for these two. Shane McMahon's project with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn is so far a success, not a failure. Now the Alliance compete for the first time without Shane McMahon. Oh, I'm going to make the interest without, for the first time without Shane McMahon since the debut of the group. And this is Kevin Owens' first one-on-one -on -one match since since uh, he, he took on The Undertaker uh, over over two months ago for the WWE Championship. He's taking on one member of the Cruiserweight division who won this matchup against 
Mr. Kevin Owens, TJ P. With the dab there by TJ P. He's looking ahead to fight for the Cruiserweight Championship in the near future also. And the massive opportunity. If you can beat Kevin Owens, you can beat anybody here in the Cruiserweight division. So we'll see if, if TJP has it as he's taking on Kevin Owens. Wow, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what the Alliance got in store. Um, Shane McMahon, they, but the Alliance will be on SmackDown Live. We don't know if they're going to be in a wrestling role, but only time will tell for that. They will be on SmackDown Live also. I might have a special university speaking coming up as well. We get the we get an update on the Night Wolf. What's going to be happening with the Night Wolf? As, after his supplicates firing from the WWE, from WWE SmackDown Live. What's the Night Wolf's future? I got, I, got, I got an exclusive take with Night Wolf's general manager and Night Wolf himself for universally speaking. So I can't wait for that one, ladies and gentlemen. And show respect between TJP and Bre and oh, Kevin Owens at the big double knee strike from TJP as TJP and Kevin Owens were the best of friends on the independent scene before both of them came to WWE. Kevin Owens was actually happy to see TJP in the WWE and now they fight for the first time here in Universe Mode. Can't wait for this one. This is going to be good. Very, very good one here. As Owens, Owens flying through the air. Owens first one-on-one -on -one match in a couple of months here in Universe Mode. First one since uh, the Owens last chance after WrestleMania, a after um, after the Elimination Chamber. And, you know, I think he believed he had a one-on-one -on -one match um, in the build-up to WrestleMania, and that was over two months ago. <clears throat> and ever since then, we haven't seen Owens in a one-on-one -on -one match. He's been in tag team matches uh, for, since his return to the Red Brand. He's still sporting that Face of America attire. It's, he has his name plastered all over the Alliance. And, him and Sami Zayn said they're the happiest they've ever been. They got rid of that. They, got, they said they got rid of Nightwolf who was holding down the other guys. He said on holding on other guys on SmackDown Live, including himself. Don't have to worry about the Nightwolf problem. Now Kevin Owens can focus solely on the WWE Championship. Step one is Money in the Bank, Owens said. And he said he will qualify for Money in the Bank. Get to Money in the Bank and win it. And take back his WWE Championship. I uh, hope, 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 hope Kevin Owens can do that, ladies and gentlemen. And Owens oh, with a shot right to the midsection of TJP. And Kevin Owens looking in this matchup very quickly as TJP is in trouble here. Owens, Owens, big shot to the back of the head early here in this match. Now TJP, he's in trouble. One, two. Oh, kick out there, two by TJP. Look like at Owens, the Alliance member Owens looking to wrap this up very quickly, but. Look like he can't get the job done as TJP able to kick out there too. Now Owens got TJP in trouble for the pump up power, but TJ, TJP, he, he he's able to uh he, he, able to reverse it. Now TJP, look at this, he's got Owens up. Wait a minute! Oh, big shot to the face to Kevin Owens, and that could do it. Could be a big upset by TJP. No, Owens able to kick out at one no. But TJP almost had Kevin Owens there. And Owens is in trouble. TJP, you better stay on him. Could you imagine this subset from TJP? From the top rope, cover to got him, oh my God. I thought Owens, I thought Owens was done for there. Now TJP with a counter. Not a cover, one, two, Owens kicked out again. Oh my goodness, the drama. This crowd can't believe it. TJP, he's putting on a show. He's putting on a show. That's what the Cruiserweight do. That's what the Cruiserweight do. Oh, DDT to Kevin Owens. TJP, another cutter. No, TJ. TJP looking to fly. He's looking to fly. Oh, from the top of my from the rope there. Now it's gonna fly again. Another, another again from TJP. My God. Kevin Owens, he's in trouble. Another cover. One. Oh, and Owens kicked out that one this time. Wait, oh my goodness. The upset here. If the TJP can pull this off, if he can beat Kevin Owens. But Owens, what can I look like, Owens? 
He went alive. Looked like Owens went alive. Look at the power from Kevin Owens. He's holding TJP now. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what Owens is thinking. Can he do it? Oh, no, 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 no. TJP. Oh, off the time buckle. Off the time buckle. Oh, no. Did you do these? And to that cannonball. Cannonball by Kevin Owens. And you know it's, it's lights up from there. It's lights up from there. Owens. Pop up power bomb. TJP gave it a fight. But in the end, Owens gets the victory. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. What a match though. TJP had Kevin Owens on the ropes. I thought he had him for a second. Look, watch that big shot there. I thought TJP had him. Did he hit the cutter? It's near fall after near fall from TJP and Kevin Owens. But in the end, Kevin Owens finds a way to kick out and was able to hit that cannonball. Bang! And the pump up power bomb to take out TJP. Alliance. Ever since their inception are still undefeated, who can stop them? That's the big question. As Owens is victorious in his first single match in over two months. Oh Lord. That's the win there by Kevin Owens. But coming up next, another man. It is it is one man's de debut in the cruiserweight division, and that is Xavier Woods. He appeared in that eight-man battle royal to crown the number one contender for the cruiserweight championship, and uh, he appeared in that eight-man battle royal, and he came up a little bit short. Well, like David Woods said, "I want to give it a go in the cruiserweight division." The new day is looking to expand, and he's David Woods is looks to become uh, the cruiserweight champion. Can he? We'll find out. And, and they're coming up next as he takes on the former number one contender, the man that won't let go, Cedric Alexander. This is going to be good. That massive reaction here in Green Bay for Cedric Alexander. Crowd still love him, even though he came up a little bit short at WWE. Last week on in, in, in main event for the Cruiserweight title. The, club, the crowd still loves Cedric Alexander. And he still won't let go until he becomes the Cruiserweight champion. And this, is, this is a massive test for Alexander as he's taking on Xavier Woods. Mr. New Day member Xavier Woods. It's going to be good and it's going to be awesome. This is going to be good, all oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, WWE Universe! Oh, as Big E is alive, Don't take it in. The debut in the Cruiserweight Division of Xavier Woods. Folks, it is a new day. And a new era for Mr. Up, Up, Down, Down, Xavier Woods. And his opponent making his debut in the Cruiserweight Division, Xavier Woods. As Woods is looking to expand his talent here in the Cruiserweight Division here on Main Event. Former tag team champion with the New Days. Hey, what's also a former intercontinental champion. So he has single success. What? We'll see if he can get it done with the high flyers of the Cruiserweight division. He can prove it. Coming up next. Well, good to see the Green Bay loving Woods. So far, we'll see what Woods can do inside that ring against a veteran here. So guys, here we go. I was in the ranch Woods. Woods and Woods catching him with a neck breaker. That's what I was talking about. Woods is Woods is very very athletic inside that ring. He knows what he's doing. Now David Woods, look at this, look at this. David Woods with the shots. The Woods such a Alexander kick things off in this matchup. Woods off the ropes. Alexander is in trouble. Whoa, oh my God, Alexander caught him though. As Woods looking to slide through with that baseball kick, 
But Alexander able to counter it just in the nick of time. That's what I was talking about. Alexander and Woods. This is going to be awesome between these two. I can guarantee that. Now Alexander on the top rope already. Flying on the cover on Woods. Woods with a kick out of that one. This is going to be high flying and very, very impactful here. And Alexander with the Enzigiri. Alexander hit, I believe, which neck hit that rope when he um went for that move as well. Now, well, Xander, oh, it turns him through again. Good Lord. Yeah, David Woods is just absolutely crushing. Crushing here. Uh, Woods, oh, where was with that big shot? Two, exit, two. Uh, Cedric Alexander, roll through there. Bang! Massive shot there by Xavier Woods. Woods with the big form as well. Yeah, Xavier Woods, where is that? That's dive to the outside. Woods could dive with the best of them, ladies and gentlemen. That's the referee count of 1-1 one, one to kick things off in this match. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Seth Rollins calls out the beast in corner. Brock Lister on Monday Night Raw as well. DX makes the return as well. And much, much more. It's a big, massive episode of Monday Night Raw as well. We got a lot of stuff going on here in universe mode. A lot of stuff going on for both Raw and SmackDown Live. It's massive shows to David Woods roll through there on as Cedric Alexander now cover oh kick out that uh, kick out there by Cedric Alexander now Alexander oh oh my goodness man now look at this is David Woods with a big fist towards towards Cedric Alexander now look at this now Woods Woods again again and Alexander struggling now that's the big shots of Xavier Woods. That's what you have to avoid. And now Woods, he celebrated too soon. This ain't the tag team division, Xavier. This is the cruiserweight division. No breaks. That's how Alexander. He's not Alexander's back inside this match. He's back into this match because of that celebration there by Woods. Now Alexander turning Woods to Tank Sling Blade. Takes him down. Cover on Woods. One. Two. No, a kick out at two by Woods. But Woods is a fighter. He's not going to give up that easily. Now, Xavier Woods, he's in trouble. Alex Allen got him up. Woods rolls through. Oh, skull crushing finale. Skull crushing finale. And could we see it? We haven't seen this in a while. New day. Honor roll. On a roll by Xavier Woods. And you know what comes after the honor roll? The big Ezra Gary. Good night, Cedric Alexander. Thanks for coming. As, as Xavier Woods makes it a successful debut here in the Cruiserweight Division. I knew it when Xavier will assist that honor roll. There's no good enough from that massive win by Xavier Woods. And look at this. Cedric Alexander welcoming Xavier Woods into the cruiserweight division. So good to see Woods in the, cru in the cruiserweight division. Wow. I'm celebrating that. I'm celebrating dancing and dancing in my in the sky box. But it's time to get the business. It is main event time, ladies and gentlemen. DIY Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa make their make, make their debut together for the first time here in Universe Mode as they take on the former Cruiserweight Champion Roger Strong and number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. And Kalisto coming up next in our main event of the evening. The way how Kalisto will get a shot um, on the main event after Extreme Rules, he will take on the winner of Johnny Gargano and Roderick Strong for the Cruiserweight Championship. That's how that's going to go for Kalisto. He's still got to wait a couple of weeks to get a shot at the Cruiserweight title, but in the end, he will get it as it's DIY's return together. So good to see him back. And side by side again. Following entire team contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way down to the ring. Tommaso Ciampa and the new Cruiserweight Champion, Johnny Gargano. It's so good to see these two come back together and a warm reception for both here tonight in Green Bay. DIY is officially back together for the first time since they won titles all over the world in the independent scene and teaming for the first time here in WWE. As Roger, as Johnny Gargano and Roger Strong are not finished with each other this year, they're guaranteed one more in Connor. At WWE Extreme Rules on the pre-show. Last and final encounter. The loser gets no more shots at the Cruiserweight title for a good minute as they will have to get to the back of the line. Roger Strong, the longest reigning. He's the only Cruiserweight champion here in Universal Mode and held that title for over four months, guys. He won it. He, he was the originator of the Cruiserweight. He won he was the originator of the Cruiserweight Tournament to crown our first ever Cruiserweight Champion. Champion. He won that. And he held the title ever since. No one seemed to take it away from him. So Gargano did the unthinkable. Made Strong tap out. Last week on main event to get the Cruiserweight title. Now tonight, Strong teams up with his, potentially his future opponent. If he can beat Johnny Gargano, Kalisto, the Number one contender for the Cruiserweight title. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome to see whoever Gargano, Gargano versus Kalisto is awesome. And Johnny Gargano. So, and Roderick Strong versus Kalisto will be awesome to see. We'll see what we, what we get in the next couple weeks. We'll find out. Big tag team main event coming up next. Johnny Gargano and um, Tommaso Ciampa discussing it is main event time, ladies and gentlemen. As Strong and Gargano looking to pick their back thing with their left off at it. And Strong with the answer, Gary, are ready to kick things off here. Oh, look at this, a big fast deception here. Fast paced action to kick things off here in this main, a big main event match. That's just Gargano with the push off there to Roderick Strong and throwing Roderick Strong in to the, to the turn. That big shot from Tommaso Ciampa to Roderick Strong. And it looking like DIY is looking being successful so far in this matchup. And Tommaso Ciampa, and Ciampa, roll through. Oh, baby. Oh, this little, the, the lead into the back of Roderick Strong. And, and it, it looked like DIY is working well so far together here as the turnbuckle was removed and then Working it well into their advantage. Good lord, look at that. Look at that. Uh, the, the Gargano rolled through the GTS big shot in the form. There by Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa is dominating Roger Strong. Strong has no answer tonight in this match. And this main event in the evening. Strong is struggling. Tag made to Kalisto. We'll see what Kalisto can do. Whereas Kalisto with the big shot to Tommaso Ciampa. Got him to chop it down, but look like it's not working. 
as DIY is taking on everybody. Big shot to the face by Tommaso Ciampa. Now a close line. Everything's working well for DIY. As now Kalisto, oh, trying to, trying to take out Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, Ciampa and Gargano, big shot. Oh, look at that. Impressive move by Gargano and Ciampa. And DIY is on fire. Oh. oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. What a match this has been. Oh, this has been all Gargano and Ciampa. Kalisto and Kalisto and Strong can't find an edge. Look at this. Gargano. Damn, slams the ball. The comeback story is real. And this, is, this could be the fate of both Roger Strong and Kalisto. Respectively. Gargano takes down. He takes down Kalisto. Now Kalisto is in trouble. Oh, Gargano sends him in to the turnbuckle. Tag made it to Ciampa. What is this? Oh no, oh no, no, no. Gargano and Ciampa. God, what a match and what a night it has been. A successful tag team reunion for DIY. My goodness. What a night, what a match. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Could this be the fate of Kalisto and Roderick Strong in the next couple weeks. Only time will tell. My goodness. Good night from Green Bay, Wisconsin.